What are you doing? You gonna open the door? Yeah. Six. Okay, you open the door. <laughs> oh my. And uh, what have we got? Okay, yeah. All right, so we've got. We've got another door in the room. This is a very well lit room. As you can see, there's light reflecting. And there's some chests up in the corner, but also there are some two nasty goblins. Hello, Chaffets. As you saw from that video, I like to incorporate ambient sound and music into my game playing to enhance the experience. A little while ago, I did a video which looked at two sites which make um, ambient, atmosphere, music for you to play with role-playing games primarily. But you can use them for board games as well, I found. The first site was called Tabletop Audio, which is um, a site of 10-minute, really extremely well-produced compositions of effects and music that you could stream or download, correction there, download to your devices or computer and you can put them on loop or put them in a playlist to play in the background or whatever game and there were a vast uh, amount of different effects ranging from just a, working in an office to uh, fighting dragons and stuff like that. Amazing. The second one is Sirenscape and in this video I'm looking a lot more closer at Sirenscape because in the previous video I only had the free download package that you could get. Since then I have all the sound sets that they've produced and have had plenty of time to play with them and have fun and let's have a look at them now in closer depth. Okay sorry about the shaky cam but this is the only way I can do this. Sirenscape can be found in two forms. There is a, a sci-fi player and a fantasy player. I'm going to start with the fantasy player first. You download these from the Sirenscape site and you will get two sound sets absolutely free. The first two here, the Bugbear Battle and the Witchwood, which you would have seen in my other video I did for Sirenscape. And then there's a list of all these other sound sets and there is a lot on the fantasy player of different kinds of um, sound settings. There's a lot here, if you have a look, it says B.O. 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 These are sound sets created for the Pathfinder adventure game. Not the card game, the adventure game. So the, the role play basically. And what you do is if you click on one, so I'm going to click on this mad scientist, the background changes, and then you have um, your sound set installed. And this is what the screen looks like. You have these presets here. Let's get one going. Let's get a monster roaring. And then I can um, sync my sound with that. And this is what is this place. And as you saw, some of these sliders and things moved. And these are the sound effects which are used in this sound set. You have this fizzling sizzling up the top here. As you can see, it's illuminated. If I click on it, I can switch it off and then put it back on. And then you'll see that little circle start filling up again. That's the sample being played. And once it's played, it will go to the next sample, either randomly or in a chain of samples. That the each track has like lots of different samples on it and you've got your volume slider here so you can change the volume of the the fizzling sizzling hit it there you go that was louder that time and as you can see some of these sounds are off and you can switch them on and some of them are on and you can switch them off and as i said adjust the sounds as you need be if i go to a click on another sound setting it changes the sliders and changes the effect. So I can hear someone working in this laboratory here. And if I click on another one, it will change slightly. As you can hear, very scary. 
Up the top here, you have some one-shot sound effects, which um, are linked up to the numbers on your keyboard. So if I push one, I can get the monster sound. And these are specific to this sound set. So if I change to another sound set, for instance, if I change to um, the Asylum here, they've changed. But the laboratory is still going on, so I could put these sound effects on top. <laughs> there you go. Down the bottom here, these sound sets are generic and they work with all the uh, the um, sound sets in on the oh, lost myself there on the fantasy player. So if I went to let's go to the farmlands here, I click on that and I am instantly transported here, and those are still the same. And these are used for general role playing games, so like you can do a fireball. Or a lightning bolt. Over here you have um, some effects which are quite interesting. So, say uh, someone rolls badly, you can click this. And as you can see, it's connected to H on your pad. And Then we have some combat sound effects here. So if you're having combat and you attack, I'll do it with the keyboard here, and you attack and someone defends, you can go, and someone blocks, or someone gets hit. Ah, nice and juicy. And then you have some fanfares, which as you saw in the debut, Surprise! So you can see how useful this tool is, and I mean, you can use it for role playing because it is aimed at role playing, or you could use it for whatever you wanted it for. For instance, I use this when I play Jamaica because it just seems to fit it perfectly. Um, yeah, you're rolling along. Uh, cannons are in the distance going off and other pirate ships are racing around the track and all of a sudden you have a combat you can just click on the every pirate for itself and then off we go how jolly is that and if you don't like the music you can switch it off what else could you do? We got Brindle Town here. Ah, ah. On a busy market day. This you could use for something like Twa or Bruges, any kind of trading game. Even Dominion! I just thought Dominion, you could play Dominion while this is going on. And um, hopefully, if I switch the music off and switch it back on. As you can hear, some of the music is very beautiful um, and very thematic. Here's a new one here. Oh, wait, let's go to. I found. I just downloaded some new ones because this is. I've subscribed. I get everything free. So where is it? White Dragon. I saw it earlier. He is there. You can go on the mountainside. If you subscribe, you get everything. All the packs, all the sound sets, and you can play about with your heart's content. You don't have to subscribe, you can buy some of these packs individually, and they also do some of these packs as um, as bundles, so like for the Pathfinder ones, you, you, you pay um, a certain amount and then you get a load of um, sound sets for an adventure for a Pathfinder. As you can hear... battling against a dragon. <laughs> what Dungeons and Dragons game would you Come on, you can play Descent with this, you can do anything with this. There's there's caverns, there's there's icy wastelands, there are friendly taverns, 
Um, there are all kinds of things. There's a mountain pass, so if you want mountain sound effects, here you go. Nice and tranquil. You can play Legend of Andor, or I mean, you don't have to play fantasy games with this. As I said, I, the the farmland one I use playing agricola or viticulture, and they work really well. And the other good thing about this is you can open up another um, sound set. So I'm going to open up the Goblin Battle. Let's say on the mountain side, all of a sudden I'm attacked by goblins. I can click on the Goblin Song and the Goblin Voices. And I'm away. <laughs> I love this. My daughter loves this as well. And if we wanted to, we could chuck some orcs in there as well. Or ogres. Let's chuck some ogres from the ogre back. Um, no. Ogre growls. Here we go. Let's have an eagle call as well. Weapon impact. Armor folly. And it's just fun to play around with in the background. Anyway, I think I've talked enough and explained how this works. Let's go and jump to the fantasy player. Now, the fantasy player, I adore. Um, it is the sounds on the fantasy player are, are phenomenal for me. Um, what I would love. Look at this. If you're playing Netrunner, just whack this on. What I think would be great is if board game companies would get in contact with people like um, Benjamin Loomis, who who runs Sirenscape, and say, "Look, look, look. Can we do can we do a deal? And um, what we do is we'll put a code, a special bonus code, in our game." And when people buy the game and enter the code, they can download, say, this running the net sound set free, which I think would be a great idea for publicity because you can play this with the actual game that it was intended for. I'm, I'm thinking like X-Wing Star Wars as well. If, if, um, oh, look at this, look at this. I've got to do this, sorry. Activation code required. We're going to do a run. There is a security breach. Accessing files. Let's go intruder alert. It's an intruder alert. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, if if you know X Wing was was sold with um instead of like a CD built into the game, it's something that you could download like Sirenscape and you could then um, enter a code and get all the sounds for X Wing and play X Wing. You know, ah, it'd be great. Spaceship battle. Here we go. So it's not like this, a, a dog fight while you're playing Star Wars. And then whenever there's a, a really big, when the ship is blown up, you can blow the blaster impact, uh, sorry, explosion. There you go, your ship is out. And then have a bit of music as well. As you can hear, the music is pretty cool. Um, I prefer the music on the, the, the sci-fi player. Uh, because it does seem to fit really well. For example, I've got to do this. Where are we? We're in the market street. A futuristic marketplace. We could be. We could be Blade Runner. Or we could be a quiet, empty nighttime stream. And there, it's, it's just an amazing toy to play with. Come on, come on, you can't tell me that when you're playing, um, what's it called? Galaxy Trucker. You could be in a dockyard building your ship and then have um, a docking sequence and then take off and then go to an engine room or maybe on so on board a spaceship here we go uh, cruising in open space busy on the bridge let's go busy on bridge here we go and then 
when you're cruising and racing after you've built your ship, have this going on in the background, and then when asteroids hit, it bounce off your shields. <laughs> I mean, the possibilities are limitless on this. Um, it's an amazing piece of technology, and as I said, you don't have to use it for role playing, you can use it as board gaming. Anyway, I think I've babbled enough. Um, let's, let's sum all this up. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.